October 10th. October 10th is the Nidiyaka. The Nidiyaka and Fiji Mental Health Day. The U.S. wins the revolution at Yorktown. Cornwallis gives up Yorktown on October 10th also. There's just so many dates. I'm just going to... Okay, here are the deaths. Here are the deaths we're all going to celebrate. 19 AD, Germanicus, Roman general. He was born 15 BC, but he died. 19 AD, 1747, John Potter, an English archbishop and an academic. He died. 1213, Frederick II, Duke of Lorraine, died. 680. 680. Abbas Ibn Ibn Ali, son of Iman Ali, 1723, William Cowper, first Earl of Cowper, English lawyer, politician, Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain, 1723, William Cowper is going to die, 680, we already did that one, Habib Ibn Madhahir Ali, Al Asgar ibn Hasayin, Ali Al Akbar ibn Hasayin. A lot of people died 680. What is going on with the third Shia man and grandson of Muhammad? 827 Pope Valentine. He died 937 Wang Lingmu, Chancellor of Wu. He died 1308 Patrick Dunbar, the Earth. The 8th Earl of Dunbar. 1308. Not the 8th Earl of Dunbar. The 8th Earl of Dunbar. He's dead. 1913. Adolphus Bush. German-American brewer and businessman. Co-founded Anheuser-Busch. He died in 1913. 1359. Hugh IV of Cyprus. He died. Peter II, the Duke of Bourbon. He died 1503. Bayinog, Bayinog, the Burmese king, Bayin, N-A-U-N-G, 1581, Philip de Regard, Von Driel, French politician, governor of New France, 1725, he died, Granville Elliot, an English general, he died, 1759, Lionel Sackville, the first Duke of Dorset, an English politician, the Lud, the Lieutenant, the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. He died 1765. Francesco Antonio Zachariah, an Italian historian and theologian. He died 1795. Prince Louis Ferdinand of Prussia. He died 1806. William H. Seward, American lawyer and politician, 1872. This is the 24th U.S. Secretary of State. William H. Seward, 1872. 1875, Alexei Konstantinovich Tolstoy, Russian author, poet, playwright. He died 1875. Charles Joseph St. Clair Deville, French geologist and meteorologist. He died 1876. Lib, Lip Pike, American baseball player, manager, died 1893. Lorenzo Snow, Lorenzo Snow, religious leader, the fifth president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. He died 1901. Katsura Taro, Japanese general and politician, sixth prime minister of Japan, 1913. He died. Carol I of Romania, she died 1914. Not Carol I of Romania. Yep. Henry Dobson, Australian politician, the 17th premier of Tasmania. He's going to die 1918. So no matter how rich and powerful you sons of bitches think you all are, Eventually, death comes for us all. For whom the bell tolls, huh? And that, and that's something that people say. October tenth. What do we got in October tenth here? We'll come back to some more births. I really called that one in. Just 
just copy and pasted a whole bunch of things, but maybe I'll maybe I'll edit it one day, huh? Just easier to cover it all, you know? So October 10th, what's going to happen on October 10th? You think it's going to be a good union day? Let's find out. Jefferson Davis asked Virginia for a draft of 4,500 black workers. No, for uh, fortifications. But interesting, Jefferson Davis is using black labor. <laughs> Fucking lazy ass bastard. He's a racist pile of shit and he's using black labor to essentially oppress black folks. So, my God, oh, what a waste. What a waste. Come on, Civil War thing. Why, why wouldn't you? Just things we could celebrate, okay? That Nud Yucca people, the Nud Yucca people, that's um, Suriname. That's the, uh, I want to say the original people in Suriname. They, they got their independence. They signed a treaty with the Dutch. So the Nidiyaka people, the autonomous Nidiyaka people in Suriname. Vigard Uvang, Norwegian skier, is born 1963. The Nidiyaka people, their treaty with the Dutch was 1760. 1964, you had the Tokyo Summer Olympics opening ceremony. That's the first to be relayed live by satellites. That's pretty cool. October 10th, 1964, you had the Tokyo Summer Olympics. 1970, Fiji Independence Day. Independence from UK in 1970. 1868, Independence Day for Cuba. The 10 years war begins. So Cuba is free in 1868. And they never had problems ever again. 1604, Kepler's supernova is observed in the constellation of Ophi Uchis, Ophi Uchis, 1846, Triton, the largest moon of the planet Neptune, is discovered by William Lassell. I like Triton. Triton, Nidiaka, and Fiji Mental Health Day. Fiji Mental Health Day. Why'd you put those together? Man, I just like all these, and I just want to make one big holiday that mentions all of them. I just have to pick one. There's so many great, grand things that have happened on October 10th. Rocktober the 10th. Rocktober. 1845 in Annapolis, Maryland, the Navy School opens with 50 students. 1911, the day after the bomb explodes prematurely, Wu Cheng uprising begins again. The Chinese monarchy is um, out. No, they're against. It begins against the Chinese monarchy. Okay, I see. So 1911 begins the Wu Cheng uprising against the Chinese monarchy. 1558, Pak Zita Polska, the Polish Postal Service, is founded. Who started the Postal Service? Poland. Postal Poland, 1558. 644 A.D., Paulinus of York, the English bishop, dies. <laughs> Not Paulinus of York. 1967, the Outer Space Treaty comes into force. 1957, economist Eisenhower apologizes to Ghanaian finance minister Gibide Ma after he's refused service in a Delaware restaurant. Why is it economist? Eisenhower. Economist. Eisenhower, the economist, 57. That's the president. Whatever, I don't care. But yeah, in Delaware, the Ghanaian finance minister, Gibidi Ma, is refused service in a Delaware restaurant. And Eisenhower apologizes to him for that 1957. 1631, the 30 years war. It's terrible that that happened, but it's awesome that Eisenhower essentially was on the right side of civil rights. 1631, 30, 30 years war, an army of the electorate of Saxony seizes Prague. 1963, France cedes control of the Byzantine naval base in Tunisia. 
Finnish Literature Day in Finland. Here's some bursts. Daniel Pearl. Daniel Pearl. He's an American Israeli journalist. 1963. He was born Arbor Day. Poland celebrates Arbor Day. 1928. Chi Ang Kai-shek becomes the chairman of the Republic of China. That's pretty big, ain't it? 1928. October 10th. Chiang Kai-shek becomes chairman of the Republic of China. Man, oh man. There's so many more words here to read. 1973, U.S. VP Spiro Agnew resigns after being charged with evasion of federal income tax. Okay, we're going to come back here. Nineteen forty. What is it? These are bursts. Winston Churchill. Nineteen forty. That ain't right. Richard Townley, astronomer, was born sixteen twenty nine, and a whole bunch more stuff here. Scott Hoffman, Chris Ophelia, Henry Cavendish. William Kruskal, James Clavel. Let's see if there's one here that I really like, okay? 1777, the American Revolutionary War. British General John Burgoyne surrenders his army at Saratoga, New York. So that's awesome. Two major surrenders happened October 10th. I guess it's becoming winter. It's getting cold. They're like, ah, oh, shit. They want to go back to England. They don't want to stay around here. Cornwallis, he surrenders at the Siege of Yorktown, 1781. So you had John Burgoyne, who's going to quit October 10th, 1777. And then you're going to have Earl, Charles Earl Cornwallis, who's going to quit 1781, four years later on the same date, October 10th. And uh, from the American Revolutionary War, we get the Constitution, we get the Bill of Rights. 1975, Papua New Guinea joins the United Nations, Capital Liberation Day, Vietnam, 1903. Women's Social and Political Union is founded in support of the enfranchisement of British women, 1920. The Corinthian plebiscite determines that the larger part of the Duchy of Corinthia should remain part of Austria, 1938. Dado, Morayama, Japanese photographer, 1947. Ojars, Arvids, Feldbergs, Latvian sculptor. Okay. 